Okay, so today I did an experiment. I used a Posca pen, or Posca pen, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, on UPO paper before I applied my alcohol inks. So what you're seeing here is a sketch that I did of some flowers using a black marker, paint marker. Um, I put some masking fluid down just to map out some white spots. And then I started applying um, the alcohol ink. This is sunshine yellow. So I'm just kind of doing the flowers. The light makes it really shiny, so it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm just filling in the flowers. I'm letting it bleed outside the lines because I just thought it would look kind of cool to mix some colors later. And I'm also leaving some places white because why not? It's kind of fun. It gives it some energy. So the other colors I'm going to be using today are um, Wild Plum and Mermaid. And these are Ranger Rick colors, so if you are looking for those colors, that's what I'm using. Um, I'm putting the pink in the middle of the flower here so that I can um, take a paintbrush with some alcohol on it, rubbing alcohol. Um, let me see, I think I used 91% I used alcohol on this today. I had a little trouble getting alcohol during the pandemic, so I was really careful about using it. So now that it's more available, I'm starting to paint with alcohol inks again. Okay, so I'm spreading the ink around, and you can see how it gets a little bit lighter when the alcohol is applied, a little bit thinner. Kind of makes some neat lines in the flower. And if the pink kind of melts into the yellow, that's okay too. I think it looks cool when the colors mix. I'm kind of going up to the lines that I drew. I've got some masking fluid there, so I kind of want to cover over that, make sure I get the ink in all of the spots I want it in. And I have a bad habit of using the same paintbrush for everything, so if you wanted to do this a little faster, you might use a bigger paintbrush. I'm using a pretty small one. Um, I think it's just a craft paintbrush, so I don't even know what size it is. Um, so yeah, just kind of filling that in. Now I'm doing the leaves. I tried to put the ink in the middle of the leaves because I thought it would spread out and be darker in the middle, but it didn't really work out that way, which is fine. That's kind of what I like about alcohol inks. You don't always know how it's going to come out. Um, this was kind of an experiment because I didn't know if the Posca pens we're going to um, run when I put the alcohol ink on. So um, it took a while. I let the I let the ink, the paint marker, I mean, dry for a couple of days before I started putting the ink on just to give it lots of time to dry. Um, the Yupo paper is a recyclable plastic, so sometimes things sort of um, take a while to dry and they can be kind of, like they're floating on top of the the Yupo paper, they don't absorb, so I wasn't really sure how the Posca pen paint pen was going to react with it, but it seems to do okay. I did have a couple of places where it started to bleed um, into the ink, but I just sort of mixed that in and it was fine. So I'm going around doing the background real quick with the uh, mermaid color, and it's blending in with the yellow, so it's making kind of a green and it's kind of blending into the pink too in spots so it'll get a little bit of a turquoisey little pinker turquoise color um i found too like if you put the ink onto the paper and let it sit for a minute and then use the paintbrush to move it around it kind of isn't as runny so it doesn't go to the places i don't want it to go to so i can get up between the flower petals and um, the stems and kind of move it where I want it. Sometimes um, I do put too much on and I have to really move quickly to sort of direct the ink where I want it to go so it's not running into the flower in a place I don't want it. And sometimes that happens. 
and you can kind of fix it. You can put the other color on top and sort of mix it back in together. You can see sort of on the pink flower on the bottom right there that happened with the leaf. So the green sort of went into the flower and um, not necessarily where I want it to be green. So later when I get done with this, I'll go back in and add some pink there. So I kind of like the way that the yellow and the blue are mixing to make a green kind of around the flowers. I just really like cone flowers for some reason, so I'm always putting those into my paintings. I think they're fun to paint. They have personality. So just adding some more blue. Trying to get around all the petals. I think this part probably took the longest. Um, you could always add some alcohol uh, to the blue too to thin it out and make it a slightly different color, a little bit lighter, a little brighter shade. So it's raining here. I'm in New Mexico. We've been in a drought for years, so I'm so happy we're getting all this rain. You might hear it in the background. It's very, it's very calming. I couldn't get alcohol during the pandemic, so I was trying to be really careful about using what I had. So I kind of switched over to acrylic paint for this last year, I've been doing a lot of painting in acrylics. And um, so this is a good little practice thing to get back into using the alcohol inks too. It's been a while since I've been, I've used them. I've been doing mostly um, abstract painting with the acrylic um, paint. So I think that's gonna inform my um, alcohol inks a little bit too just a little bit more um, free free with things, not trying to put so much control in. I can see it just in this painting, or I'm just kind of letting the ink go wherever it wants to. I'm not really worrying about the stems. I think I'm just gonna leave them however they come out. There might be parts that are still white and some of it'll, the stems on the flowers will be blue or green, depending on what's bled into it. Okay, so I'm finishing up this corner. I just got this last bottom corner to do. I put some black polka dots in there just for fun too. And I also wanted to see how how they did, how the paint did with the alcohol, but um, I think that's probably where I saw most of the bleed was on the polka dots, but they're also getting surrounded by more of the alcohol ink. And um, alcohol does remove acrylic paint a little bit, so if you ever do spill some on something, you can wipe it off pretty quickly with alcohol, like a hard surface. But surprisingly, they did the paint pens did really well. I love Posca pens. They they work for everything, like mixed media, doing details in acrylic paintings, and now I'm using them for with my alcohol ink, so pretty cool. And there's lots of colors. Okay. So it looks like that is about it for this. So um Oh yeah, I put a yellow put a yellow dot in the middle of the flower just to give it some more um, color to look more realistic, and um, that was really fun because you just drop a dot a dot of ink and it flows out wherever you want it to. Oh, and here I am correcting the the pink on the flower so it's not so green looking on that end, just kind of adding some more pink. And um, once this part's done. I'm just going to let it dry completely, so probably like 10 minutes. It doesn't take too long. The alcohol ink tends to dry pretty quickly once the alcohol evaporates. And after it's dry, I'm taking off the masking fluid. 
You can use like an eraser to take it off, but I like to just use my finger because I can feel where, where it is and if I've missed a spot. And it's really oddly satisfying to just peel it off. And I wasn't extra careful about putting the masking fluid on. I kind of just plopped it on with a paintbrush because I just wanted to do an experiment. So it's a little bit messier than I maybe usually would do it, but I kind of like the way it's coming out. It feels like it's just a little bit more organic. The funny thing is I love cone flowers, but I cannot grow any in my garden. I just cannot get them to grow here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I have so much trouble with wildflowers too. Anything that's really difficult to grow, I tend to do better with, but the things that are supposed to be easy to grow, I really struggle with. Okay, so I'm pulling off some more masking fluid from the flower in the middle, and um, that's coming off pretty easily. You wanna make sure it's completely dry, otherwise it will smear a little, and I think that happened just a tiny bit on one of the flower petals. So if it's kind of in a thick blob, the, if the ink's in the thick blob, it might take a little bit longer to dry. And you can speed that up using a hair dryer. I didn't do that this time because I had some other things to work on while I let it dry. Um, but the hair dryer does really move things along a little quicker so you don't have to wait so long. All right, that part's done. Now just a few more cone flowers. You just kind of want to feel around and make sure you're getting it all off. But it does come off easily. And I like the way it just lightens up the painting and gives it kind of um, like some life. Another way you can get some white if you want to afterwards is to take a toothbrush and dip it in just alcohol and kind of splatter it all over your painting and you get little white dots. Okay, so this is it. This is my um, finished painting. Thanks.